and thanks for joining us from our studios in Tel Aviv. I'm Denise Wood here with IRL TV's Morning Briefing from Israel. The Israeli government has approved a plan to step up law enforcement in Arab villages. The plan calls for the construction of 10 new police stations and the renovation of 10 existing stations in Arab and mixed population cities, as well as adding 2,600 new police officers to the force. The crime rate has been disproportionately high in the Arab sector and Public Security Minister Gilad Erdogan initiated the plan to narrow social gaps and increase personal security for Arab citizens. Implementing the plan will cost several billion shekels, and preparations are expected to start this year and continue until 2020. Prime Minister Netanyahu says Israel needs equality in law enforcement and says it's unacceptable that it doesn't exist yet in Arab towns. The American presidential race is heading toward the New York primaries. Democratic frontrunner Hillary Clinton is presenting herself as the more pro-Israel of the candidates. Candidate Bernie Sanders says he's proud to be Jewish, but he's also outspoken in his criticism of Israel. Sanders recently exaggerated the Palestinian civilian death toll in the Gaza war and called Israel's response to Hamas disproportionate. Now, Clinton is responding with a clear message of Israel's right to self-defense. She says if people are under attack, they have to respond. Clinton also claims that Hamas provokes Israel and often dresses terrorists in civilian clothes, and that Israel targets those who are targeting them. On the other hand, Sanders is calling for a more balanced American Middle East policy. He says that while the U.S. backs Israel's right to live in security, there won't be peace until the Palestinians are treated with dignity and respect. One of Israel's most high-profile companies has been sold to a Chinese investment group. Ava Cosmetics is famous for its Dead Sea products, and now it looks like they're headed to China. The Chinese investment group Fosun has now signed an agreement to buy the company for $77 million. Fosun says Ava is a famous, strong and successful brand, and they intend to extend the product into China and other countries. And it looks like Fosun might be looking for more investments in Israel. The company says it's confident about the market in Israel and will seek suitable investment opportunities in different areas of the economy. The Palestinian Authority is pushing forward with a UN draft resolution condemning the Israeli settlement policy in the territories. The resolution demands a halt in Israeli construction in the West Bank and East Jerusalem, calling all Israeli settlement activities illegal and saying they're a major obstacle in advancing a two-state solution. Prime Minister Netanyahu is accusing PA President Mahmoud Abbas with taking steps that will push peace talks even further away. The Prime Minister is continuing to call for Abbas to take part in direct negotiations, put an end to incitement and condemn terrorism. The U.S. vetoed a similar resolution in 2011, but this one is toned down without calls for a Palestinian state or international protection. That's all for now. I'm Denise Wood and see you later with our main daily broadcast from Israel at 2 p.m. Eastern Time.